welcome to aminacademy.com in fluid mechanics let us discuss about total pressure and center of pressure of curved surface immersed in liquid surface here let look at this figure the ab is a curved surface which is submerged in a liquid surface we have to find uh, total pressure and the center of pressure now let da a small area of strip area of strip at depth h depth h from from water surface now we can say therefore da equal rho g rho g h df equal force of intensity of force on this area intensity of intensity of pressure force on this area i call df i call p into area which is equal df rho g h into da now total therefore total pressure force is equal integral df which is equal rho g h da here the total force is integral of rho g h da but it is a surface is curved so everywhere the pressure total pressure is changing so we have to consider force with sir uh, resolving the forces with horizontal and vertical directions that is we have now f is square root of fx square plus fy square which means horizontal direction and vertical directions you have to find resultant force and inclination inclination of this force this force with uh, horizontal is tan phi equal fy by fx now resolving the forces resolving the force resolving the force force df in x and y direction that is horizontal and vertical direction we have first df x equal df sin theta which is equal rho g h d a sin theta then df y equal df cos theta equal rho g h d a cos theta therefore total force in x direction force in total force in x direction is integral df x which is equal rho g h d a sin theta and 
suppose let it be 1 and same total force in y direction integral df y rho g h d a cos theta now in enlarged figure we can write ef equal in this figure ef equal da ef equal da and fg equal da sin theta in enlarged in enlarged area da in figure we have ef equal to da fg da sin theta and eg da cos theta by using this uh, equation 1 and 2 we can get a force along x direction and y direction and we can find the resultant force by using uh, square root resultant force r equal that is f equal square root of dfx square plus fx square plus fy square therefore resultant force f equal fx square plus fy square from this equation we can find resultant force we have done please subscribe our youtube channel